Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world of Mr. Smart. Today, we're going to navigate the wild and wonderful landscape of your brain. Are you ready? Buckle up. Once upon a time in the bustling city of Neurotransmitterville lived the charming dopamine and the wise serotonin. These aren't your everyday folks. They rule our actions, emotions, and choices. But wait, who is the third musketeer? We'll get to know him soon. Now let's talk about the duel, dopamine versus serotonin. Imagine our hero, Mr. Smart, trying to learn salsa. Every time he twirls and doesn't fall flat on his face, dopamine. The city's flamboyant cheerleader throws a party. She's the one whispering, this feels good, let's dance some more. Dopamine is the life of the party, the city's fuel, always pushing everyone towards newer, more exciting things. Hmm. However, in her quest for constant fun, she can sometimes go overboard. Now let's see, what's the difference between dopamine and serotonin? On the other side of Neurotransmitterville, you have the calm and composed serotonin. The city's zen monk. Serotonin is the one saying, this feels good, I don't need more. When Mr. Smart relaxes with a cup of tea after a long day, that's serotonin doing her magic. She's not about thrill or excitement, but peace, contentment, and long-term happiness. Hold on, I can see you are eager to hit that subscribe button. And guess what? Dopamine loves when you do that. So tickle your dopamine and hit subscribe for more brainy adventures. Now let's introduce the notorious villain Cortisol, the city's stress monster. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the three musketeers of mood. Dopamine versus serotonin versus cortisol. He's constantly up to no good, muddling with dopamine's parties and messing up serotonin's zen garden. When Mr. Smart is stuck in traffic, late for his salsa class, that's cortisol adding a dollop of stress, making dopamine even more hyper and muffling serotonin's calming voice. Now let's get dopamine and serotonin explained in a plot twist. When cortisol starts his shenanigans, serotonin, in all her wisdom, stays low, preserving the city's peace. But dopamine can't resist a challenge. She goes into overdrive, making you seek more rewards. All the while, serotonin watches from her zen garden, sipping her chamomile tea, waiting for the storm to pass. And how does serotonin and dopamine work together, you ask? Our hero, Mr. Smart, has to remember that the secret to happiness and contentment isn't chasing endless dopamine parties, but finding a balance. The key is learning how to balance dopamine and serotonin. So the next time you find yourself mindlessly scrolling through social media for hours, or raiding the fridge at 2 a.m., remember, it's just a wild dopamine party. Maybe it's time to invite serotonin for a quiet tea party. Or better yet, meditate to tie that pesky cortisol down. Like Mr. Smart, we all live in our neurotransmitterville. How we choose to party, chill, or deal with stress is entirely up to us. It's a delicate dance, but when we get it right, it's a beautiful ballet of brain chemistry that can lead to a happier, healthier, and smarter life. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the city of Neurotransmitterville. Remember, every time you hit that subscribe button, you're sending a little love to your dopamine. Stick around, folks, because in the world of Mr. Smart, learning is always fun and it never ends. Till next time, keep your dopamine in check, let your serotonin flow, and keep that cortisol at bay.